Hello boys and girls, welcome back to a brand new review. This time we'll be reviewing the Pokemon series, Pokemon Origins. This is the Pokemon show that has got nothing to do with the main series. Instead of focusing around Ash, this show focuses around Red, and to be specific, Red from the Pokemon games. Anyway, it is time for a review. The show starts with Red and Blue about to get their first Pokemon from Professor Oak. Not only that, but they've been asked to do something for the Professor as well in exchange for the Pokemon. And that is to go and catch every single Pokemon that has been discovered so far. Red starts off as the weaker trainer between the two, and this is shown after their first Pokemon, ba Pokemon battle together. This is when Red discovers what he needs to do in order to become a better trainer, and shows this by beating Brock in the same episode. Uh, from here, that we get to see the journey that Red makes as he takes his way towards the Pokemon League. This show is based in Kanto, but there's something from Kalos as well that totally changed the series from the original Kanto series, and this is Mega Revolution. This is the whole reason the show was made, basically sort of like a trailer for the uh, Pokemon X and Y. Too bad they didn't show this or even acknowledge it until the last 10 minutes of the show, which is kind of stupid as you build up towards the major battle against Mewtwo and then, oh yeah, we have Mega Revolution, which you couldn't have used the whole time, even though the basic gets the stones in the second episode. I thought the story to be good, but far too quick for my liking. This, the show is only four episodes long, and with everything that wanted to include in the number of episodes, it's understandable why the story was going to be so quick. But we skipped five gym battles, and the battles are probably the best part of the Pokemon series. And we just get to see the ba badges after the battles in like little cutscene kind of thing it's kind of kind of disappointing the main reason people watch pokemon is for the battle so why not show them and show us how red has progressed as a trainer instead of just telling us how he won them the story they, they did give us was good and enjoyed it a lot as it gives more praise to the character from games such as mr fuji and the person who gives red the lapras it also makes you want makes you hear blue more than you already did from the games which is just perfect as that's what pokemon has been missing recently is a great rival like blue the animation i found to be brilliant is without the doubt the best i've ever seen pokemon look you can tell that a lot of the time and effort was put into each frame of the show and it's worth watching just to see everything from the way that the flames move on Charmander's tail to the way that Red throws a Pokeball. Other than just how short the series is with four 20 minute episodes, I think the show is great and well worth a watch if you're a Pokemon fan. If you aren't, then give it a watch as it still has an amazing animation, a great story, and who knows about changing your mind on Pokemon. So this is the first time I've ever reviewed a series on this channel and hopefully I'm going to be doing a bit more. Anyway, I've been Aaron Moss and I'll see you next time. Bye.